Survivor has evolved over the years. We shot on Pulau Tiga in the original season, a small uninhabited island off the coast of Borneo in Malaysia. And that was exotic. That was far away from American culture. And within the context of the game, we experienced Malaysian culture, headhunting. We looked at what was happening within that part of the world at that time. In little ways, Survivor exposed America to another piece of our world. And Survivor moved thereafter around the world, going to Australia next and to other places thereafter, like Africa for the third uh, season. One of the things that happened in Africa was that contestants got so dry and tired and depleted and exhausted that it wasn't as good television to have participants who had no energy. And producers then decided that there ought to always be some kind of uplifting, energizing environment, oceans and water and that kind of thing. And so they made a decision to make sure that the survivors thereafter took place in these more beautiful settings that weren't so overwhelmingly dry and depleting. But at some point, there started to become a more economic decision where seasons were shot one after the other in the same location so long as the name of the series was changed to make it different. So the idea of using the location as a character within the concept of Survivor is nothing new. But when the economics come into it in such a way that the location doesn't matter at all, it seems like maybe what's happening now that Fiji has become such a consistent location repeatedly being used as the backdrop for the series that we have to ask ourselves, is it worth it? It's certainly worth it to producers. I get that, that they can uh, be established in that country, that their equipment's there, that they understand how it works, and that is cost effective, no question. But what do we as fans of Survivor lose? Are we not being exposed to Ethan, the winner of Survivor Africa, playing soccer with the youth from tribes nearby? That some of the things that we see and some of the ways in which survivor participants were able to interact with the Vanuatu Islanders, et cetera, and bring, um, even if it's just money, but exposure to some of the different parts of our world that could most use that money or exposure is sad to see not a part of the show. I've talked a little bit about how I've seen decisions being made recently that I think are slowly undermining the show itself. This may be one of them. I don't know. So fuel for thought. You know, 80% of you who are listening to these videos have not subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe. Just hit the subscription button and hit the notification button and you'll be informed when I have another video up for you to listen to. After you've subscribed, comment. Comment positively, comment negatively. No holds barred. Just say what you're thinking. That's what will make our exchange even more valuable. As I'm able, I'll create new videos responsive to that commentary. So like away or dislike, on that rare occasion, you may feel the need to do so. <laughs> but either way, thank you.